Hey everybody. All right. So something kind of cool that I learned. I had this customer come and they were running this Windows 10 version, home version, unactivated for a couple of years. Well, they decided to bite the bullet and they bought a Windows 10 key. Problem was they bought Windows 10 Pro. So, and for whatever reason, the Microsoft servers were not letting them activate their home version with the Pro version. And you would think that they would just upgrade it, but it didn't. So to get around this, Microsoft said, hey, wipe your whole hard drive, reinstall Windows 10 Pro, and you'll be good to go. My customer didn't want to do this because they would have had to reinstall their apps. They would have had to have backed up their data. Would have been a royal pain. So um, there is a workaround that they don't talk about as much. But what you can use is something called a Windows generic key. And what this key does is it upgrades whatever Windows edition you have to another one. So if you have home, you can put in a generic key. It will change it from home to pro. The caveat is these keys, since they're generic, they don't activate anything. So don't, don't think you can use this to activate your Windows edition. Um, so what we're going to do today, I'm running a virtual machine here. And this virtual machine is running Windows 10 home. So here, we can see that we're running Windows 10 Home here. This, this is what I got installed on this virtual machine. Now we're going to change this from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. That's our goal. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our computer is not on the network. The reason we don't want it on the network is that the machine will try to contact Microsoft when you're doing this and be like, hey, this guy's using a generic key. And Microsoft will be like, they shouldn't be doing that. And it will stop the whole process. So we need to sever that connection, turn off your Wi-Fi and connect the Ethernet cable. You know, whatever you need to do, disconnect the Internet. Next. So I kind of already did it, but I'm going to do it again. Go down to your search bar, type in activation. And see, it's already um, guessing what we want. Activation settings. Go ahead and click on that. Okay. We're going to go down to change product key. Now, I'm going to have a link to the generic keys down in the description. I'm also going to put the Windows 10 Pro generic key here in this window. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in and we're going to click next once I got that done. Okay, next. And you should see the screen upgrade your edition of Windows. So it just says you're going to upgrade it. Um, it is going to take a minute. And don't touch it while it's happening. You don't want to screw anything up. All right, we're going to click start. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay, it's done. Let's make sure that it worked. So I'm going to log in here. Yeah, it says success, but let's double check. We'll go back to the activation settings. And there you have it, Windows 10 Pro. We went from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro, and we didn't have to wipe anything. Everything's the same. Everything's wonderful. So that's how you can do that without having to wipe your whole hard drive if you run into an error where Microsoft is not accepting your upgraded key or if you bought the wrong edition key this is a way you can get around that so i hope this helped you go ahead and subscribe like it helps my channel helps me grow all right thanks guys and until next time have a good one